Let's denote the equations of the three straight lines by 1, 2 and 3 respectively. At the point of intersection of lines 1 and 2 is obtained by solving equations 1 and 2. Subtracting the second equation from 12 times the first equation, we get on the left hand side 132 minus 7 times y is equal to 60 minus 20 which is equal to 40. Therefore y is equal to 40 divided by 125 which is equal to 8 upon 25. Putting this in equation 1 we get 2x is equal to 5 minus 11y which is equal to 5 minus 88 divided by 25 which is equal to 125 minus 88 divided by 25 which is equal to 37 upon 25. Therefore x is equal to 37 upon 50. Therefore the coordinates of the point of intersection of lines 1 and 2 are 37 upon 50, 8 upon 25. Now let's verify whether this point lies on line 3, which is 4x minus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. Substituting the coordinates of the point of intersection of 1 and 2, in the equation of line 3, the left hand side is equal to 4 times 37 upon 50 minus 3 times 8 upon 25 minus 2, which is equal to 74 upon 25 minus 24 upon 25 minus 2, which is equal to 50 upon 25 minus 2, which is equal to 0 which is the right hand side. Therefore, the point of intersection of lines 1 and 2 lies on line 3. It therefore follows that the given three lines are concurrent, which is the required result. Now for the second part of the problem, Let's obtain the equation of the bisector of lines 2 and 3. The equations of the bisectors are given by the left hand side of equation 3 which is 4x minus 3y minus 2 divided by the square root of the sum of the squares of the coefficients of x and y equal to plus minus the left hand side of equation 2 which is 24x plus 7y minus 20 divided by the square root of the sum of the squares of the coefficients of x and y. The denominator on the left hand side is equal to root of 16 plus 9 which is equal to 5 and the denominator on the right hand side is equal to root of 576 plus 49 which is equal to root of 625 which is equal to 25. Therefore, the equations of the bisectors of lines 2 and 3 are 4x minus 3y minus 2 divided by 5 is equal to plus minus 24x plus 7y minus 20 divided by 25. This implies that 20x minus 15y minus 10 is equal to plus minus in brackets 24x plus 7y minus 20. First take the positive sign. The equation of the first bisector is 20x minus 15y minus 10 is equal to 24x plus 7y minus 20 which simplifies to 4x plus 22y minus 10 is equal to 0 or 2x plus 11y minus 5 is equal to 0. 
Notice that this is the same as the equation of line 1. Therefore, line 1 is a bisector of lines 2 and 3. Now, taking the negative sign, we obtain the equation of the second bisector, which is 20x minus 15y minus 10 is equal to minus 24x minus 7y plus 20, which implies that 44x minus 8y minus 30 is equal to 0 which implies that 22x minus 4y minus 15 is equal to 0. Therefore, to summarize, line 1 is one of the bisectors of lines 2 and 3, which is the required result.